What's your first name? Cynthia. And how old are you? 48. Married or single? Married. First, second, third? First. First, good for you. How long? 30 years. You married young? Yes. You're aware of what happened while you were sitting there. You yelled out. No, no. That ever happened to you before? No. Did you come here thinking you had demons? No. You do. Fortunately, you're not going to take them home. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know the Lord? Yes, I do. You saved? Yes. Where'd you get your heart to the Lord? 28 years ago. Okay. Obviously, there's a lot of hurt there. And where does that come from? Do you mind telling us? I think it happened to my daughter. She was blessed by my brother in law. But when there's a curse of molestation, it's, it's transgenerational, and the likelihood that within three to four generations it's happened more than once is there. You're a woman of God. We're going to fight. And we're going to get this thing out of you. The oil of the Holy Spirit. Kick your face in. You're going to kick my face in? I'm going to rip it apart. Well, I knew you didn't like me, Jezebel, but I didn't know it was that personal. Get off of me. No, I'm not getting off of you. Get your filthy hands off of me. Say, get the off of me. Get off of me, you hear me? The sword of the spirit, I divide soul and spirit, and I divide the human. I divide the human from the demonic. That was not a demon. A demon started to manifest and then a human personality took over. And the part that cursed at me and the part that wanted to hit me was human. This is the sort of thing we teach you in our school of exorcism is how to know the difference when you're praying with people and ministering to people. It's really important. I want the part that hates men and hated me so much to listen to me, I'm going to help you. You and I are going to deal with this. Not. Yeah, you are. I'm not. When her daughter got molested, she got a spirit of Jezebel from the molester. And when you gave in to the hate, you, even though you were trying to help Cynthia by holding her hate, you invited murder and Jezebel into. No. Your Hello, Jezebel. You know I got this figured out, Jezebel. You're either going to start giving me some straight answers, or I'm going to take the sword of the Spirit and put it right through you, Jezebel. You ready? Here it comes. You're going to give me some straight answers? No! Is it generational? Maybe. How many generations? Mm. How many generations? Three. Maybe four. Maybe five. How many? Uh, how many? Uh, not to the Holy Spirit. How many? Uh, four. Okay, it's four. Four generations ago, someone was molested? Yeah. Go down, Jezebel. I want Cynthia. Cynthia? Look over. Okay, we're going to break this curse and get you free. Did you hear what went on? Yes. Okay. Say, I, Cynthia. I, Cynthia. Break this curse. Break this curse. The four generations. The four generations. Of sexual abuse. Of sexual abuse. Jezebel and murder. Jezebel and murder. And hate. And hate. Have to leave. Have to leave. I'm a woman of God. I'm a woman of God. Jezebel has to get out of me. Jezebel has to get out of me. Give her a hand. You got it, God. We broke the curse. That legal right spoken. We're going to get rid of this thing. Oh, bless your heart. Okay. All right. Stand up. Let's fight. I draw the bloodline between Jezebel and me. Say, I, Jezebel. I, Jezebel. Bind myself. Bind myself. To hate and murder. To hate and murder. I have no more right. I have no more right to this woman of God. To this woman of God. I lift the curse. I lift the curse. Of four generations. Of four generations. Of sexual abuse. Of sexual abuse. Lift it. Lift it, Jezebel. Say, I have no more right. I have no more right to this woman of God. To this woman of God. I now receive. I now receive. God's judgment. 
God's judgment. With all my claiming kingdom. With all my claiming kingdom. I Jezebel. I Jezebel. Go. Go. Now. Now. To. To. The. the pit. Pit. Come out. Help me cast this thing out now. Go. Tell them where to go. Go. Get out. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Go. 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 Who did this for you? Jesus. Who gets the glory? Oh, God. He gets all the glory. He set you free. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus. The most frequent demon that I deal with is the spirit of Jezebel, the most prevalent evil spirit of our age. This demon wants to destroy your health, your finances, your marriage, your family, and your church. Learn the tactics of Jezebel throughout history and in the time in which we live. My book, Jezebel, Defeating Your Number One Spiritual Enemy, is your key to overcoming this demon, which is more prevalent than at any time in human history. Get your copy today. Jezebel, defeating your number one spiritual enemy. A lot has been lifted and that's all thanks to God and to Bob. Anybody who needs help, just reach out, we'll help you. I have to give all the credit, and number one to God, but, but to the Bob Larson's ministry because it was what I learned that I was able to apply to these terrible situations I found myself in and get deliverance. If your life isn't all that it should be, if relationships aren't working, if your health, your finances, or your spiritual life are unhappy, schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter with me. We'll get to the root of the issues that are holding you back. We'll give you answers and a whole new direction in life. That overwhelming joy and, and peace has come in from that experience alone of being delivered. Oh, what a change, what a difference when you have an encounter with God. He already saw the demon in me, and it was revealed that I had Jezebel. Barb Larson's amazing ability that he's been gifted with. I thank Bob Larson, and most importantly, I thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you're oppressed, we'll confront it. If you have curses, we'll break them. Whether you need healing, deliverance, or biblically sound direction in life, a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter will set you free. Oh, I got set free of a demon. I am free of this, of this demon. Bless this man of God, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He absolutely cleansed me and he took the curses away from me. God had helped me tonight to get rid of the demon. Go see Bob Larson because he can help you. You've given my life back with my wife and you've given me a chance to, to save my life and save my wife's life. Call one of our encounter coordinators now. You've waited too long to get your life back on track. Take action. I look forward to seeing you soon. One of Bob Larson's seminars, and I gotta say, it was amazing. The prayers and the deliverance, I feel so much better. I feel alive. Today, God just delivered me of Lucifer so that I could serve him for the rest of my life in my anointing. Thank you, God. He delivered me from so many different demons, uh, spirits that have been plaguing me for so long. You have to be set free so you can truly be set free. It's just, it's just worth it. The ministry is just worth it. <laughs> we encourage your support for this worldwide outreach to do what Jesus did. For the latest information on resources, seminars, 
conferences, training institutes, retreats, and international missions, go to boblarson.org. Thank you for your prayers and financial partnership.